Violence in our community is a reality which we can no longer ignore. Whether we're in a workplace, movie theater, school, or attending church, we need to have a plan that simply works and addresses all the possibilities a person could possibly face in a violent encounter. Hello, my name is Henry Reyna, owner of Secure Solution, LLC. I've been teaching clients how to survive mass shootings for 15 years. I'm a retired police officer with over three decades of service and two decades as a master firearms trainer at the police academy. Police, fire, and EMS have a well thought out plan response, shouldn't you? Do you have a plan if you find yourself in an act of violence incident? If your plan is to simply run and hide, wrongdoers are gonna capitalize on that elementary response. I will teach you how to survive, beginning with leveraging your built environment and tightening your access control systems. I will teach you easy to learn self-defense methods that wrongdoers will not anticipate. You'll be taught how to react as a lawful citizen who is possibly armed with a gun. Additionally, you'll be trained to use other tools such as a knife, taser, pepper spray, or improvised weapons. You will understand what is lawful and what is not lawful. More importantly, you'll be trained how to survive. Welcome everyone, um, Henry Reyna here uh, talking to you about uh, surviving and responding to an active shooter uh, event. Uh, here it is one year after the tragic event in Texas um, where um, 19 students were brutally murdered and um, we're just now trying to acknowledge and figure everything out that took place there. Um, schools are not safe. Nowhere in public space where large people gather is safe. This is a map of shootings across the United States from 2000 to 2014. The number of people injured are replicated by the size of the dot. So zero to four is a small dot, zero, five to nine is a medium sized dot, and 10 is the large dot. Over this 14 year period, 272 incidents. This year, 2023, we're going to be somewhere upwards of 800 in one calendar year. You will not rise to the occasion, you will fall to your training. Let me say that again. You will not rise to the occasion, you will fall to your training. What training do you have that you could survive an active event in this, in this audience right now? The number one thing that we can all do is access control, lock our doors. The, the larger the venue, the more people that are there, what do we need to do? Lock our doors. Absolutely. In a violent situation, you're going to have to move. And if you're not moving, guess what's going to happen to you? You're sucking up bullets. If violent strikes, consider attacking. If that's not right, consider escaping. So you're either going to attack if the violence is close enough, or escape if the violence is far enough away. But you have to have a plan, and the plan that I'm talking about is about moving. Well, thanks again for coming this afternoon. Um, as you can tell, I'm very passionate about giving my tools to everybody. Um, again, seeing what people are capable of doing with regards to being uh, violent and ugly in our society, I think it's really important to give people practical tools that they can use in a dynamic event. One in four will be a victim of sexual assault. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Not could be, not maybe, it will be. You would not believe how many times I've done this training session and have been speaking at the end of the training session, someone will come up and said, Henry, I want you to know I survived. One of the things I discovered is doing some of this research is there is a commonality in all these, all these sexual assaults, all these rapes, all these brutal crimes against women. And I did a Google search uh, for missing women in Michigan. And then I expanded the screen. And, and then I realized, holy cow, you start clicking on all these images, we have a problem. The world is not safe for women. And why is it not safe? Money jewels, belongings, and your womanly abilities. Wars have been fought over women. That's how valuable you are. 
You were telling me about your daughter? Oh my gosh, she is the most valuable thing in the world. So are you. And so is she, and so is she, and so is she. And, and understanding this, you really need training that's going to make a big difference. How do predators select their victims? Is it because they're voluptuous and they have necklines and revealing legs or something? It's body language. They're looking for someone weak. They're looking for someone not paying attention. And so this is what I want to do. I want to wake you up. I want to stir you. I want to get you emotional because the world is not safe. And we get into training uh, and giving you guys information that's going to be very, very useful. Understand that we're all part of the food chain, even me. You know, I threw my back out two months ago. I was walking like a 90-year-old man. It did not feel safe for me to be out in public. Just remember, we're all part of the food chain. Our first tool of self-defense are our eyes. But do we let our eyes tell us what we're seeing, or are we busy doing this, right? Get this $1,400 phone, put it away, it's a distraction. You're going to get eaten alive because you're scrolling, all right? Get your eyes in the game. Always tell someone where you're going. Have a plan of action. Now, what separates me from all the other trainers in the world? I teach people how to survive. I give you real simple gross motor tools and techniques that are going to work. If I can teach policemen, can I teach you? Absolutely. Can I teach your son? Can I teach your daughter? Absolutely. My name is Sarah, and I would highly encourage women of all ages to take the Secure Solutions Women's Self-Defense class. I took the class in my late 20s with my older sister and my then teenage niece, and all being from different perspectives and stages of life, we all found it extremely valuable and um, beneficial to take. So Henry obviously has a unique perspective working in law enforcement. He's seen a lot more than you and I have. Um, he knows what types of crimes happen every day in the communities in which we live. He knows the types of people that do them and who they do them to. So he really wants to arm you with the knowledge and the awareness that these things happen and then take it a step further to give you the knowledge and the skill set to be able to respond to a situation. As a person who believes in the right to defend myself, I always thought that I had to have something physical to help me um, in a potentially life-threatening situation, when in reality, you only have seconds to respond and your best line of defense is right here, it's just you. So he's you know, giving you the hands-on um, training to learn pressure points, breaking holds, and then if you need that extra sense of security, something as simple as an LED flashlight. You know, things like that were just things you never think of because you, unless you've been put in that type of a situation, you don't know how to respond and what to do. So really just that knowledge and that hands-on training is just so valuable.